Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shadron State College. Today, the Shadron State College Eagle Volleyball team will be taking on Casper Community College in a scrimmage match this afternoon. I'm Ethan Stray. Glad to have you tuning in on our two platforms today on this Friday afternoon, both on YouTube and Facebook Live. So the Eagles took to the road for postseason play to end their season. And that was against the Rangers in the first round of the RMAC tournament. Regis was the defensive powerhouse in the tournament, ranked number 11th in the nation as the Eagles rolled into town. So let's take a look at the two players that really controlled that defense for Regis in that one. Six foot five Amelia Davis and six foot two Natalie Burbank Burbrink were the two that really caused a lot of problems with the Eagle offense. And that kind of limited the Eagles only to 20 kills in the match. That puts us into our stat recap for the final game of the postseason. MSU Denver, uh, rather, uh, the Regis Rangers, my apologies, the Rangers had uh, 39 kills against the Eagles in that matchup. 20 kills for Shadron State. 25 errors, so a rather large amount of errors for the Eagles against the Rangers. The 14 errors put up by the Ranger offense. 97 attempts for Shadron State, so just 10 more attempts than what Regis saw on offense. The Eagles hit negative in that one with a negative 052 and a positive 287 for the Rangers. And total 56 points for Regis, 33 for Shadron State. 36 total assists for Regis, six aces on the side of Shadron State and a big high number of 14 blocks for the mighty Regis Rangers. So again, it's important to notice that the uh, Rangers were nationally ranked in this one as the Eagles entered play, as both teams are shaking hands to start this one off at center court right by the net. So we're about to get things started here in Shadron. Let's take a look back at how the season ended in the RMAC Conference. MSU Denver took that number one spot at the end of the regular season at 13-1 overall and 20 or 25-7 and seven overall, 13-1 in RMAC play. Colorado Mesa finished in second place, 12-2 in conference play overall, 24-5 and five. Regis Rangers and those were the that was the team the Eagles faced off against. 12 and 2 in RMAC play overall, 23 and 7. South Dakota Mines, RMAC record 10 and 4 overall, 18 and 10. They took that final four seed spot and were able to host a tournament match. And then CSU Pueblo and CSC rounding out the standings for the RMAC at the end of the 2023 season. We are underway. The whistle for first serve, and here it goes. Alondra Hernandez receives it. Kenny gets the swing on that. That's Natalie Kenny, the Hawaii native. As the first attack from the Thunderbirds goes into the net. So as I said, the Eagles finish with a 15 and 12 overall record, eight and six in RMAC action. Playing against Casper Community College Thunderbirds today in this one here at the Chicoin Center. It's a gorgeous Friday afternoon here in Shadron, Nebraska. Now 1-1 one one after a kill gets down for the Thunderbirds. So 1-1 one one here in the first set of the scrimmage. And a net serve by the Thunderbirds. We'll see who that is. That's number one, Jocelyn Rijvang. The leading offensive attacker for the Thunderbirds last season. 340 kills is a nice serve there by the Eagles. Send over a free ball. Lacey's there and swinging was Madison Wright. She'll get the kill. Again, no official stats today as it's just a scrimmage, so I'll try my best to keep up for you and keep you posted. Ayana Fujiyama at the service line for the second time already. She sends over a nice serve. Rajvon with the reception, a block up front there by Wright and Natalie Kinney. And the next attempt will get over the net. 
Schmeijak will get the kill. Mark down a block for Kimmy. And Wright also in on the block. And that swing will get down for the Eagle offense. That was Kelly Kirkwood coming through with a kill. And the substitution now in is Riley Ward doing the serving duties now for the Eagles. Serve goes to the back row of the Thunderbirds. Kimball Kirkwood sets to her sister, Callie Kirkwood. Give Kimball Kirkwood an assist and Callie Kirkwood with a kill. 5-2 to two CSC. Here in the first of two scrimmages on the afternoon and early evening hours. Serve handled nicely there by Shadron. Ward, tough swing, gets it over, and it will go out of bounds. So a point for CSC on the swing from Ward. Serve goes back to Rajvong with the serve reception. A big block up front by Madison Wright and Kelly Kirkwood. Point for CSC. Two blocks already for Wright. And that's the first for Kirkwood. We have a timeout taken by the Thunderbirds. We'll step aside, be back in a moment here in Shadron. Back to action here in Shadron service ace for the Eagles. Riley Ward with the ace. And that one falls on the Thunderbird side. Point for CSC. It's a seven point advantage for the Eagles, nine to two. Service air for Ward will award the point to the Thunderbirds. We'll see who they send to the service line. Appears to be Wisdom Scheismack. Can't quite secure the block against the Thunderbirds on that one. It appeared to be Emily Ware on the kill. She totaled 162 kills in the 2023 season. Good swing from the back row, picked up nicely by the Eagles. And Kirkwood gets a swing off. Nice dig in the back row by Naya Sermon. 
Kirkwood sets back row. Lacey has to really reach for it, gets it over. And the swing will go wide and an attacking air and a point for CSC. Attacking air will either be on Lear or Hutchinson. Not sure who contacted that. Kira Alfred in with the serve. Lacey nearly got the pancake dig there, but couldn't quite get her hand under it. And a point for the Thunderbirds. Attacking air on Kendall Kirkwood. Trying to just get that back over the net. Couldn't quite do so right into the net. And a point for the Thunderbirds. So 10-6 ball game. Here in the first set. The swing from Lacey. And she cut the line on the far side. A kill for Avery Lacey. Lacey had a great freshman season for CSC, 196 digs and 29 service aces during the season. She went on that really insane run early in the season against South Dakota Mines, and we almost saw another good serve by the Eagles. That was Alondra Hernandez, and she was great at that as well. Lacey again on the swing. So two kills already on the match for Lacey. Hernandez at the service line. Another nice serve picked up by Mia Hutchinson in the back row. And that one will find the back row for a kill for the Thunderbirds. Trying to spot a number on that one. That was Rajvang for the kill. Service received by Ward and a swing by Lacey. It's a kill, the third of the match for Lacey. Substitution on the Eagles side. Natalie Kinney into the ball game. Riley Ward will exit. Kimball Kirkwood will go to the service line. So with Alondra Hernandez as she finished up her serving, chat about her a little bit on what she did this season is that one was deemed up, so a pancake dig there. And just thinking that one down was Natalie Kinney. Credit that one as a block. Her second. So under Hernandez, as I was saying, defensive specialist and serving expert, achieved 39 aces on the 2023 season and defensively is interrupted by a booming swing there by the Eagles. That was Ayana Fujiyama, the middle, coming through on a swing. So, finishing thought on Alondra Hernandez. On the defensive side, she recorded 432 total digs on the season, and that swing will go off with the arm of Kirkwood and out of play. A point for the Thunderbirds. Service air on the side of the Thunderbirds. Service air by Katrina Volick. Second service air by the Thunderbirds in this one. And a shank pass there will award the service ace to Avery Lacey of the Eagles. Second service ace of the match for Shadron State. Lacey, another nice serve. There it is. She's going to get on that roll like she did. Second service ace for Avery Lacey.
The next serve from Lacey. This time it's handled by the Thunderbirds. A nice dig in the back row as Lacey's in that middle back position. Tip up over the block. That'll do it. That'll get the kill for CSC. Callie Kirkwood with another kill. Notches her total up to three in the match. Another shank reception on the serve, and that will be the service ace. Miscommunications really hindering the Thunderbirds in this series of serves. Connecting on that hit was the middle for the Thunderbirds. Looks like Eliza Pearson with the kill. And Kinney gets the swing off, but it goes just a tad long. An attacking error awards the point to the Thunderbirds. 20 to 10, your score. The Eagles are on top by 10. Do want to apologize if there are any audio issues. I do apologize if it has been just on the face camera. It's an inadvertent mistake on my part. And that was for our YouTube viewers, so I do apologize on that. Serve will go long. The service air for the Thunderbirds. Just three points away from taking set one are the Eagles. Eagles get the points. Uh, on that one, 23 to 11. Thank you for those that just notified me of the inadvertent mistake on my end. I got that resolved, and you should be able to see the court on your screen as that touch by the Eagles goes just a tad bit long. And a point for the Thunderbirds. Serve is handled by Alondra Hernandez. One goes cross court. Picked up by the libero of the Thunderbirds. Trying to spot the numbers is a bit difficult. And Hernandez, a nice dig. Kirkwood with the swing into the block. It's picked up by Hernandez. Set over, set or dump by Kirkwood. It's picked up by the Thunderbirds. A nice diving save there. And the back row was Ward, but it fell. On to the side of the Eagles in a point for the Thunderbirds. Eagles trying to get those final two points, 23-13. Kimball Kirkwood sets to her sister Callie. She gets a swing on it. But it's dug out nicely by the Thunderbird defense. And here's Callie Kirkwood with another swing. It, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but came off her hand wrong. And an attacking error on the Eagles. Great way to keep that alive and 
Get it to where the Eagles can send over a free ball. On the touch by Kendall Kirkwood. Kirkwood sets to Ward in the back row. Dug out. And now back over to the Eagles. Kirkwood set her dump, dug out. But out of play by the Thunderbird defense. Swing goes through between the two blocks of the Eagles and gets down for a kill for Katrina Bullock of the Thunderbirds. And a swing and a kill, a nice booming swing there by the Eagles. It's Avery Lacey once more. And that was the first set. 25-15, Eagles take it here in set one. We take a short break. Back to Shadron in a moment with set two coming your way. As we get back to action here in set number two, let me tell you about how Casper Community College ended their season. They made it to the 2023 NJCAA Division I Volleyball Championship. They played in the ninth place game to end their season where they fell in three sets to Indian Hills Community College. They fell 22-25 in sets one and two and fell 17-25 in set number three. So definitely a powerhouse in their conference. Again, their conference record was 10-2, and two, an overall record of 30-14. and 14. So played a few more games than the Eagles did, 27 in total for Shadron State, and 44 did the Thunderbirds. So spring volleyball here on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Ethan Stray with you. Glad to have you watching on whichever platform you're joining me on on this Friday afternoon as Ward gets a nice serve over. It's handled by the Thunderbirds. And a kill for the Thunderbirds. And that's Bullock for second. And the first point for the second set will go to the Thunderbirds. Service air. 
second service error for Bullock in the match. That will send Callie Kirkwood to the service line for the Eagles. Four touches for the face. Callie Kirkwood. Unable to return that were the Thunderbirds. So in the front row right now for Shadron State, it's Bo French, Bella Adams, and Ayana Fujiyama. They drift back off of the net. Ward sets Adams in the middle, and there's that powerhouse swing for a kill. Adams knocks down her first kill of the match. Powerful arm of Adams in the 2023 season smashed 28 total kills on the season. Free ball for Shadron State. Hernandez to pick it up. Arid swing goes into the tape of the net. Kirkwood swinging from right about the middle back position between zone six and zone three. Again, service zones. In the back row, let's go left to right. It's five, six, and one is an arid swing by the Eagles. And that was Bo French with the arid swing. Dig there by Ward. Fujiyama gets up for the block in defense. The Eagles get suckered in there, and a nice open hole opened up for the Thunderbirds. That was Aubrey Browning with the kill, her first of the match. French tracks it down. Callie Kirkwood just going to send it over. Free ball for the Thunderbirds. Let's see what they set up with. They go to the outside. And a swing and a kill for Schmeizek. So a 5-3 ball game. Thunderbirds on top by two. Eagles won the first set. Ujiyama with a kill. Her second of the match. Adams will drop back to serve. Alondra Hernandez will exit. Bo French, Madison Wright, and Ayana Fujiyama in the front row. Bella Adams through this air. So Adams will exit and Hernandez will re-enter. And then does that traditional libero spot all season for the 2023 season. Saw some shifts every once in a while, but she was mainly the everyday starter at that libero position as Bo French gets a nice swing. And the touch is called. Madison Wright with the swing and the kill. Kind of a connection between Bo and Wright. And now Naomi Starr will enter in and do the serving for Shadron State. Nice dig in the back row there by Alondra Hernandez. The swing from French off the top of the block. Dug out nicely in the back row. Set will go to Schmeizek. That can't get down. Right on the slide. She got it. A kill for Madison Wright. Again, unofficial stats today. Up to three kills for Wright. Surf's air for Shadron State.
It's a 7-6 game. Eagles rallied a little bit there and returning a service air back is the Thunderbirds. That was Schmeizak. So that'll bring up Juicy Josie Lucifelt, who gets a nice serve over. Eagle defense picks up the attack from the Thunderbirds and a block there by the Thunderbird front row. And just long goes the try by. Kirkwood. Front row marked down a block for Emily Ware and Bullock. And the service ace for the Thunderbirds. Ace belonging to Ian Hutchinson. Ward just sends it over. And sneaking that one down on the line was the Thunderbirds. Can't see the number to see who to accredit that kill to. So we'll try and get that in just a moment. Serve goes long, service error, and a point for the Eagles. Alondra Hernandez at the service line for Shadron State, awaiting to serve. Swing goes off of the block, and that'll be a kill for the Thunderbirds. Another one for Volek. She notches her third. And a deep serve will go long. Trying that aggressive deep serve with the Thunderbirds just not executing at the current moment to get those down. And they have five service errors on the match. Crowd starting to fill in here at the Chicoyne Center. Crowd of easily 75, 80, maybe pushing 90 on hand. Fujiyama with a deep push, picked up by the libero. So a kill for the Thunderbirds again. Isaac, the attacker for the Thunderbirds to get that kill. She gets the swing again. Nice pick up there by Loosevelt, ranging towards the Eagles sideline. The set goes wide, and the Eagles pick it up in the back row and ward. Loosevelt sends it over. Eagles out of system here, trying to get a nice set. Here it comes. Adams tips it up over the block. It's picked up by the defense of the Thunderbirds. Kirkwood keeps it alive. Everybody's chasing it down, and nobody's going to be able to get there. Going down and out of play was Ward trying to track that one in for the Eagles. And a point for the Thunderbirds. 13-9 your score. Here in set two, Eagles took set one. And Kirkwood swing and a kill. Kelly Kirkwood with her fourth kill. Ward gets the assist on the set. And Kelly Kirkwood service ace as there's just a miscommunication in the back row by the Thunderbirds. So service ace for Kelly Kirkwood. That's her second. 
So right now the offensive leaders, Avery Lacey and Callie Kirkwood, four total kills and another service ace. That's the third for Callie Kirkwood. Lacey with three as well, leading the team. And now it's a one-point differential, 13-12. Thunderbirds lead here in the second. That ball goes out of play off of the Eagles. Schmeizak again with the kill, her fourth. Third mishandled, but communicated well of how the Eagles were going to get that back over the net. So they stay alive for the moment. The swing down through the block goes the kill by the Thunderbirds. That was number six. Mia Hutchinson notching her first kill. Timeout here in Shadron, 15-12, Thunderbirds lead. As we welcome you back to Shadron, it's a three-point lead for the Thunderbirds of Casper Community College. Well, French receiving the serve for Shadron State. Fujiyama high up there on the net, and she'll get the kill. Nice swing there by Fujiyama to knock that one through. And a point for CSC. For athletic news stats, schedules, and more, be sure to visit ShadronEagles.com. A scrimmage for the Eagle football team going on as well over at Don Beebe Stadium. So lots of action for CSC Athletics. Great way to keep that rally alive by the Eagle defense. Adams with the dig. Set out to Fujiyama. The swing off of the block. A nice block there by the front row of the Thunderbirds. That was Abrian Browning with the block. Assisted by her front row teammate, Mia Hutchinson. Notching her first block as well. Mark that is a shared block between the two. Service air from the libero of the Thunderbirds. That's Sermon. Sermon receives a serve, tip up over the block, Eagles dig it out, that was Star there on the dig. Wright just knocks it over, and a swing. Eagles there on the block, through the block, Hernandez with the dig, great way to keep that up, Star with a swing, dug out in the back row by Volek. Ball sent over, Hernandez picks it up for the Eagles. The swing from French off the top of the blocks and alive on the Thunderbird side and down 
Balls the ball on the Eagles side. A kill for Emily Ware. And the Thunderbirds lead by three, 14-17. Service air on Schmeizak. Her second. Team's seventh service error on the match. Josie Loosefelt to the service line. For the Eagles, she serves a deep one that's picked up by Rajvon. Swing will go wide. Attacking air and a point for CSC. And instead, it is corrected and a touch is called, and that'll be a kill for. The Thunderbirds, 18-15. Set from Ward to right. Just kept the right and boom, goes the dynamite. Charlie Kirkwood. My, oh my. Get up there and knock that one down. Hernandez, a serve. One point ball game, 18 17. Thunderbird lead. A block, but it goes out. So a kill on the part of the Thunderbirds. Rajvang on the swing. And here comes the serve from Ware. Serve ace for Emily Ware. Second service ace for the Thunderbirds. Set from Moore goes to Kirkwood. She swings. It's still alive on the Thunderbird side. Ware sends it over. Free ball over pass. Eagles dig it out. Loosefeld in the back row digging that one out. Adams on the slide. It can't get down. Back over to the Eagles. Ward, setter dump. Not quite executed, but it's still alive. And a long rally. Here we go. Kirkwood pushes it over. Back over to the Eagles. Ward with the set. Adams slide over the block to kill. Ward will go to the service line for Shadron State. Service ace. For a second. Eagles have eight total service aces on the match. Four service errors. And they're hanging in this one. 20 to 19. Still... Thunderbirds leading by one. Block of Adams and Kirkwood. Adams into the block and out. Kill for Bella Adams. So block assist for Kirkwood and Adams. So they both jump up together. Fujiyama with the swing over the block. Dug out in the back row 
by Hutchinson. And that time, Fujiyama gets the job done with that swing. Her fourth kill of the match. Timeout taken by the Thunderbirds. Eagles have regathered the lead 21-20 here in Shadron in set two. Back here, late stages of set two, 21-20. Riley Ward in the serve for the Eagles. Nearly got a service ace there, but it was tracked down out of bounds by Rajvong to bring it back. Kirkwood just pushes it over. It's dug out by Schmeizak. Adams down Main Street with a hard swing for a kill. Bella Adams. Three CSC players with four kills on the match. Lacey Adams and Fujiyama. Callie Kirkwood still in the lead with five. Ward another nice serve. Net violation. Point for the Eagles. Two points away from taking set two. And the net was Browning. And Ward will serve again. Sends it over. Schmizak receives the serve. A nice block by the Eagle defense. Fujiyama and Adams. Hutchinson notches another kill. Service ace for number 10, Katrina Volek. Third service ace on the match for the Thunderbirds, and it's 23-22. Not going away without a fight are either of these two teams here in set two. A block, and it fell inbounds. Fujiyama coming through with the block. Her second. And it's set point number one here in set two. 24-22 your score. Eagles again took set one from the Thunderbirds. Service air by Kelly Kirkwood. Fifth service air on Shadron State. French coming through with the kill. Swinging that off the block. So French notches her first kill of the match. And that'll do it. 25-23 the score in set number two. The Eagles win it and they look to sweep the match. 
from the Thunderbirds when we come back. Set three coming your way here on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Set three just about underway with a service air. Server was Bullock, her third service air of the match. Team's eighth. And that'll send Kira Alfred to the service line who serves it into the net. And a service air for Shadron State. That's their sixth. Fujiyama trying to get that through the block. Unable to do so. Set goes to Rajvang, I do believe. It's kept alive. And there's some different personnel on the floor this time for the Thunderbirds. The Hutchinson, another kill for Hutchinson. There's Amelia Pycut that took the swing on the near side of the net, nearest our viewing position. Natalie Kinney notches a kill.
Alfred with the dig. French, long swing, an attacking air. As it goes long out of the back of the court. It is a 3-2 ball game in favor of CSC. So Emily Ware will go to the service line. Alfred, West, to Bo French, and Adams to knock it down. Technically, it would be classified as a block from Adams. So, not her third block of the afternoon. 4 2 Shadden State. A block by Adams and Kelly Kirkwood. Sydney Eskew. Service air. Eskew didn't play at all in the 2023 season. French gets the kill off the top of the block. Assist goes to Eskew on the set. Six four. Paige Boyks serving for Shadron State. We'll take that middle back position. Boyks with the dig. It's a little bit off the side of her hands, but it's recovered by the Eagles. And a nice cross court kill by Zydzik. Paulina Zydzik with the kill for the Thunderbirds. It's a 6-5 ball game here in set number three. Eagles lead two sets to none in the match. Boyce received the serve. Askew with the set. Avery Lacey with the swing. It's picked up by the libero, Sermon. Adams keeps it alive on the Eagles side. Lacey with the swing. It goes through the block and down for a kill. Make that number five. She ties Callie Kirkwood unofficially with the stats that I have on hand. Again, usually over on CSC Live, our RMAC network as Adams comes through with a ace. The first from Adams. But the RMAC network doesn't cover any of the spring scrimmages or fall scrimmages for the other sports. So, being able to do this and have this opportunity to have some viewers on two different platforms is a certainly a special opportunity. As Hutchinson notches her fourth, fourth kill on the match. Lacey with the dig, or put the serve reception. Fujiyama sinks it over on the swing, and successful. And a kill out of the back row for the Thunderbirds. That was Rajvang with her third. Now we'll send Mia Sermon to the service line. Set from Eskew, Kirk with the swing, it goes wide. Point for the Thunderbirds, and we are tied at eight here in set number three. Kelly Kirkwood, 1.9 kills per set on the 2023 season, and 122 total kills on 394 total attempts. Had a season high of 15 against Adam State here at home, as Avery Lacey comes through with another kill, her sixth on the match. Now 
Molly Kirkwood, Avery Lacey, really the freshman power duo that helped the Eagles through the 2023 season. Two very talented individuals. Can't wait to see how their journey continues here at CSC is Ayana Fujiyama and Natalie Kinney, the two Hawaii natives connect on a block. Natalie Kinney out of Kahuku, Hawaii. As Kyle West enters and has a net serve. Her second. She will stay in at the center position, playing the front row, right front position for the Eagles. Ayana Fujiyama in the middle, Natalie Kinney on the outside. Set goes to Lacey, who tips it over. And it will be a point on the air by the Eagles. 10 to 10 here in set number three. Lacey with the swing, dug out by the defense of the Thunderbirds, and a swing and a kill for Casper Community College. Kill is accredited to Pycut. That's Amelia Pycut, her first kill of the match. Lacey picks up the serve reception. Kenny sent it over unsuccessful on getting it down and off the block and a kill for the Thunderbirds. That was Hutchinson with her fifth. Schmizak and Hutchinson leading the offensive charge for the Thunderbirds. Kelly Kirkwood and Avery Lacey along with Fujiyama and Bella Adams all in that leading position for the Eagles on offense. Hutchinson again with another kill. Make that her six. And the Thunderbirds are pulling away a bit, pulling away a bit here in the third set. 13-10 and Coach Jennifer Stadler will take a called time out. 13-10 here in set number three here in Shadron. Be sure to check out more CSC Athletics content on my YouTube channel. From podcasts to game day previews to interviews, there's something for everyone. Be sure to check it out. We'll step aside here in Shedron. Timeout, 13-10, Thunderbird lead. Thirteen ten Thunderbird lead here in Shadron. They will have the ball to serve out of the break. And promptly sending over a service ace was Bullock. Her second service ace. Three service errors for Bullock. So maybe finally finding that groove on the at the service line. And there she goes. Another service ace. That's three for Bullock.
Shutter dunk will get the job done for Wes. Great job, Kylie, on that one to read, read the open hole on the defensive side of the floor, put it right in the donut, the campfire, whatever you want to call it. Everybody gathered around. That fell right in the middle. Great execution by Wes. Ball and then that campfire of the 3-6 seam. Eagles appeared to be in the net. At first glance, thought it was the Thunderbirds. Looks like it might have been Bo French that was in the net for a net violation. First looked like Emily Ware on the Thunderbird side had grazed the net. But a point for the Thunderbirds, 16-11. Alfred received the serve. Sermon with the dig for Thunderbirds. A nice cross-court swing there. Dug out nicely by Natalie Kenny. High cut on the swing for the Thunderbirds. She'll get the swing again. Cross-court again. Dug out by West this time. Alfred bump set. Free ball up and coming for the Thunderbirds. Set out to Hutchinson. Lifts it up over the net to the Eagles. And Kenny with the swing. Back row. Sermon. It's still alive, kept in by Rajvang. And both teams out of system, just trying to settle down here and get back in this rally. Set by West to French, off the top of the block, picked up in the back row, that time by Hutchinson. The swing this time will get down for Pika. Kill number two for Pika. Nice long rally there between these two teams. Kenny will shot up over the block. Dug out nicely by Sermon. Attacking air in the back row by the Thunderbirds. That was Hutchinson. Wander Hernandez to the service line for Shadron State. West, the server in the back row. And there's Hernandez dropping that short serve, but it's picked up by the defense of the Thunderbirds. Is that one just drops in there as West had to send over a free ball and she'll get a free ball kill. Is it just floated over and misreading that was pie cut and it connected for a point for the Eagles, 17-13, a four-point differential between the two teams. Thunderbirds led most of set number two and fell in set number two as an attacking error that time by Ware. Tried to get that cross-court swing and just a little too wide with that one. 17-14. With Hernandez's serve, picked up by Hutchinson. Ware with the kill. Ware with the kill on that one. Volick with the assist. And she set that one up nicely for Ware to knock that down. So Ware will head to the service line after her kill. Bump set, swing, cross court, Hernandez picks it up, West bump, Alfred sends it over, free ball for the Thunderbirds, we'll see what they do here, they swing into the mighty block of the Eagles, and it's still up, Eagles trying to send it over, roll shot by West, Adams and Kenny connected for the block there, West, setter dump, unable to Connect with the floor on that one. The rally will continue. Kenny with the swing and a kill. Natalie Kenny coming through on that swing. Five blocks for Adams in this one. Four for Natalie Kenny. 
Got to bring up SQ to serve. And went just wide. Service error for SQ, or second. Trying to go with that aggressive serve. You'll see teams a lot of times in season go right down that sideline, and that's what the Eagles were really working on in their early practices in the spring was covering that line, whether that be on attacks or on serves. And you can see just every team trying to target those spots and just make it a bit awkward for either team to handle. Service air came off of the hands of Pie Cut. The 10th service air for the Thunderbirds and a nice swing from the Thunderbirds. Hutchinson once more, her seventh. Adams, roll shot, picked up by Pika. Swing into the block and a kill. Kill for Zydzik. That's her second. And the Thunderbirds trying to put this one away here in set number three and force a fourth set here in Shadron. A five-point advantage, 21-16 their score. As Lacey swings through the block, Adams off of the hands of the block. It's alive on the Eagles' side. Kirkwood sends it up over the block. Lacey finds the open hole in the back row for a kill. Number seven for Avery Lacey. Great scrappiness there by the Eagles to be on their toes. And Lacey read the back row of the Thunderbirds and placed it where they weren't. Got the kill. And a kill for Hutchinson. Feared as if she was in the net on that one. Net is moving a little bit. But a point for the Thunderbirds. And the Eagles will take another timeout. 22-17 your score here in the third set. We'll step aside. More action coming to you live from the Chicoin Center in just a moment. Back here in Shadron. Don't forget the Eagles will have another scrimmage game coming up after this one. Try and get the coverage on that one as well. It'll depend on battery life, so I'll keep you guys posted on that as we draw to a close here in Shadron. If the Eagles can rally back and take set three, they'll sweep the match. but most likely I'll be able to get the coverage for you all on both Facebook Live and YouTube Live, so stay tuned for that. And then tomorrow on CSC Live, the RMAC Network, it'll be the Eagles taking on New Mexico Highlands Cowgirls for softball, four touches on the part of the Eagles. 23-17, your score in favor of the visiting Thunderbirds from Casper Community College. 
a Sermon with the serve. It is still alive. Sermon bumps it over. Free ball for the Eagles. Set will go out to Lacey, and she is shut down. Mark that down as a block for Volick. Her second block of the match. Set point number one. Hernandez receives the serve to set out to Lacey. Lacey goes over the block off a of sermon. It's kept alive in the back row by Rajvon. A kill by Ayana Fujiyama. Her fifth. The Eagles will force a second set point here in set number three. Kylie West back to serve. Sermon. Able to get it down, and we will go to set number four as the Thunderbirds take set number three, 25 18. Instead, we're only going to play three sets here. The Eagles will take it two sets to one, and we'll win against the Thunderbirds. We'll step aside. I'll have the second game of the scrimmage coming up here on both Facebook Live and YouTube Live for everybody that is tuned in so stay tuned to that and it should be within the next half hour i would assume so i will get the live stream going as soon as possible and have it right on youtube live and facebook live so thank you for tuning in everyone this is ethan stray saying so long from the chicoin center from now and see you in approximately 30 minutes